Leishmaniasis is a neglected infectious disease that is caused by a bite of a, a female sandfly. It is fatal if not treated and is the second deadliest parasitic infection after malaria. It affects the poorest of the poor. The community doesn't know the exact disease and doesn't know the symptoms and the signs of Kalasa. So it is my work to go there as a field officer and uh, show where to find the medicine. Mutota ke konjeka lasma wewe uende huko hospitali kasi yenye ungefanya au utafanya tena watoto unawacha watoto bila mama kila kitu tu ya boma kama mbusi ngamia ngombe yote hakuna mwenye aitampeleka huko kwa malisho hiyo ina affect sana boma Building on the efforts that Welcome and others have made from over a decade ago, we are working with DNDI to bring together partners both from academia and industry to deliver 21st century drug treatments for leishmaniasis. Science works best when people talk and exchange ideas. So everything we do is by partnership. We collaborate with academic groups, research institutes, small companies, big companies, ministries of health. We try to bring together the partners to make our programs work so that we can bring together people with the different skills and interests and really try and make that pathway as productive as possible and move our projects forward as quickly as possible. But we're also working in an area which is neglected, but it's not easy. If we're to be successful using the limited resources that we have, the best way is to collaborate and have everybody focused on the same goal. I work as a discovery scientist trying to discover new classes of compounds, develop new experimental drugs, which we can then go on and test in volunteers and then patients to see if they could become the future medicines to treat leishmaniasis. We're trying to save people's lives. Our strength is in our partners. Without our partners, we are nothing. I am supervising clinical trials in Kenya and Uganda, Ethiopia and Sudan so that at the end of the clinical trials, we have a treatment that can be recommended for patients suffering from neglected diseases. People that have visceral leishmaniasis need 17 days of treatment. The treatments are painful injections and they're done in hospitals. So people can't go to work, kids can't go to school. And so what we really want to do is solve that problem. And we want to do that by developing an oral drug. So that means the medicine people can just take as a pill and. If we achieve that and we are well on our way to do this, then I think we make a massive impact into people's lives. As a clinician, most of the patients come in late. They come in with complications. Treating them is not, is not straight away because you have to treat complications first. On average, the patient can stay in the hospital for almost a month. And two to three weeks, the patient will be undergoing treatment. Yeah, and come as Tani Drug discovery is a very complex process. It requires lots of skills, lots of people, and so we're really good at early drug discovery, but that's not enough to make a new medicine. And so it's only by working together with people that have maybe experience further down the line in terms of getting compounds to the clinic that we can succeed. And so what we've done is we've worked very closely with GSK in this area. Everything we do at GSK supports our purpose to help people do more, feel better and live longer. This includes using our expertise in research and development to tackle some of the world's biggest global health challenges. Our work in visceral leishmaniasis is a great example of this commitment, working with partnerships with complementary expertise to help us deliver innovations to patients. I personally find it very rewarding to be working in this field. Actually, it's a really exciting time now. This is the first time when we've got multiple opportunities to develop a new treatment for leishmaniasis. 
So we hope we'll have a combination of new drugs in the next few years. When I take the patient from the field and then take him to the hospital and get his treatment, after the treatment, when I see him going his home, I feel so happy. If the donors and the developers can develop a drug that is, has a good efficacy, the drug that can be affordable, the drug that can be easily be accessible, the future, there's hope. My dream would be the development of an oral treatment for Ms. Reshmanasis. The day we shall get them, I'll be so happy. Because then we'll say, take this tablet twice a day, come and see me in two weeks. That will be my dream and that's the day I'll retire. <laughs> I'll achieve the goal.